got a call on the sat phone. The lads weren't too far away. The next morning, they slowly entered the river. I met the lads a few years ago, fishing the rivers around Karumba. We're in for a bit of a treat here. The boys are going to show us how they do it their way. Meet Ian and Gator, golf pro fishermen. These lads live out here the whole barra season and only go back to port when they're full of barra. All right, the boys are just about to go out and set their nets, so we're going to follow them and watch them set the nets. It's coming on to dark now, so they're going to put their nets in and they're going to check them again at 12 o'clock tonight. So let's see how they go. How many nets are you going to set tonight, mate? Six, mate, six. Six nets? See how we go. See how we go. <laughs> Each net is tied to a tree and then anchored up on the other end. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> High tide is at midnight tonight and will rise two metres. It was really good to see how the boys set their nets today. They sure don't muck around. <laughs> this is their way of life. The boys know this coastline better than anyone else. The next morning, I headed off with Ian to check the nets. When the water temp gets warmer, the nets need to be checked more regularly. The heat of the water can damage the barra if they're left in the nets for too long. How long are your nets, Ian? Oh, I think you made it, mate. Yep. How often do you have problems with crocs coming in and stealing your fish? Oh, pretty regularly, mate. Depends where you are. Well, the river's not too bad. This is a bad one for it. Check their nets in the morning, then come back to the mothership and process their catch. Then they try and get some sleep for the late arvo. Then it's back into it again. Other fish caught in the nets this morning were Grunter, King Salmon and Pomfrey. Nice sized barra out of the net this morning. It's a beauty. We want to catch one of these. Barra worth at the moment? 
Um, range between 18 to 22 dollars a kilo. That's the filament one, as far as the filament. Kilo blocks of pure barra fillet ready for the table. It's heavy. These little tackers are pomfries. The boys get them in the net, but they eat jellyfish. They don't eat anything on a line, so you won't be able to catch them. So apparently they're really good eating. We're going to test them out tonight. Not much on them, is it? Ah. A real white meat. Ah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's nice, mate. It's that sort of different texture, isn't it? Yeah. The boys also sell the airbag for the barra. It's worth $50 a kilo. We're just checking the nets with the boys. The sun's about to go down. They're just doing their final check before dark. All of their nets are set within a kilometre radius of the mouth, not too far away from the mothership. easier for them. The rivers up in the Gulf here are full of catfish, so the boys are getting their fair share of catfish today. The sun was setting on another amazing golf afternoon. What an awesome bunch of blokes, Ian and Gator. To come out here and to see how they do it their way was an awesome experience.